everyone welcome to botany insider so in this lecture we'll be dealing with the topic of cell cycle it is one of the most important topic from the cell biology unit and also one of the frequently repeated topic in the csir ugc net examination this is the first part of cell cycle in which we'll be dealing with some of the basics and also with the various steps of the cell cycle in the subsequent lectures we'll be dealing with about mitosis meiosis and other important sub topics of the cell cycle so if we want to define that what is a cell cycle all about so a cell cycle is a ordered series of events that is in cell cycle we have some of the events that occurs in an ordered manner the sequence of the events by which a cell duplicated its genome and eventually divides into two daughter cells cell cycle it means that when a cell undergoes an ordered sequence of events and this cell cycle is for the reason of ki cell ko apna number increase karna hai that is the cell have to increase its number that is the reason why the complete process of the cell cycle and cell division occurs then occurs coordination and regulation that is because division of the cell is a very crucial part of the body or it is a very crucial mechanism in the body hence there requires coordination and also the regulation as well now there are some cells that divide on stimulus now we have some cells or in our body we have cells some which divides throughout our life and some others of them are the first one is the cell which divide on stimulus what is stimulus so stimulus in very simple word means external function that is jab kisi cell ko koi external signal milta hai to divide at that particular time these cells divide for example the lymphocytes hepatocytes and the fibroblast and there are some cells which do not divide hamari body ke andar kuch cells aise bhi hote hain jo divide nahi karte the first one are the muscle cells then we have rbcs and the nerve cells rbc stands for the red blood cells which we have in our body so reason the red blood cells do not divide is that they do not have the nucleus or the red blood cells are enucleated and hence they do not divide in the lifetime so now let's discuss about the various types of cell division abhi tak humne padha ki cell cycle actual mein hota kya hai ab hum ye samjhenge cell cycle ke andar there occurs the division of the cell so types of cell divisions kaun se kaun se hote hain so we majorly have three cell divisions the first one are the amitotic the second one is the mitotic and the third one is the meiotic let's understand about each one of them hum in sab ko detail mein in the further lectures we'll be discussing about the mitosis and meiosis with its various sub stages as well but let's just have a quick introduction about each one of them the first one is a mitosis what is a mitosis so the binary fission is given the name of a mitosis and in this method what happens is that we have a parental cell and it divides into two daughter completely identical cells this is what binary fission is all about the second one is about the mitosis so mitosis means the indirect division that is the division in which there occurs a division of or the cell gets divided into two of its same copies in case of the mitosis there occurs ek cell jo hai wo do, do ke andar divide karta hai but mitosis ke andar indirect division hota hai you can see we have a cell it undergoes first the karyokinesis and then the cytokinesis we'll be discussing about this complete process in depth in future lectures but for the time being just understand this much the third one is about the meiosis so meiosis is the reductional division and what is reductional division so the division in which the number of the chromosomes in the cell gets reduced to half 
there occurs reductional division and reductional division is seen in the gametes formation jiski wajah se gametes ke andar half number of chromosomes hote hain as compared to our somatic cells and then when the two gametes fuse together they lead to the formation or they help in the maintenance of the stability of number of chromosomes in the body so this was about it or let's understand about the basic stages of the cell cycle now so first thing we have to understand is that we have basically two main stages the first stage is the interphase and the second stage is the m phase so in case of the interphase we mainly have three sub stages and that is g1 s and g2 so the g1 phase is basically for the growth for the s phase we have the dna synthesis in the g2 phase we mainly have the growth and the preparation of the mitosis and the m phase which is the mitotic phase or the meiotic phase depending upon which cell division the cell is undergoing and this completes the one complete cell cycle so we have the first stage as the g1 stage then we have the s then we have g2 and finally the m phase of the cell cycle now so you can see we have the cycle being divided into two phases the first one is the interphase and the second one is the division phase the interphase is given the name of the preparatory phase which includes the g1 phase s phase and the g2 phase then in the cell division or the division phase we have two sub stages the first one is the nuclear division and the second one is the cytoplasm division the nuclear division is given the name of the karyokinesis and the cytoplasm division is given the name of the cytokinesis in case of the nuclear division it could either be the mitosis or meiosis depending upon ki cell kis cheez ke uh, depending upon the cell is undergoing which particular cell division type so as you can see so first we have the g1 phase g1 phase is the first growth phase and in this the growth and the normal metabolic role occurs then we have the s phase in which which is the second sub stage of the interphase in which there occurs the most important work that is the dna replication the s phase is also given the name of the synthesis phase and finally we have the g2 phase in the g2 phase there occurs the growth and the preparation for the mitosis which is the second growth phase the final one is the m phase so in the m phase we have four sub stages that is the prophase metaphase anaphase and the telophase so these four sub stages of the mitotic phase they are the sub stages of the mitotic phase and finally the cell gets completely divided into two of its daughter cell so this was about the complete overview of cell cycle so now let's understand about the four stages jo abhi humne discuss kiye that is the g1 s g2 and the m phase in a bit depth the first one is the g1 phase so in the g1 phase the first thing we have to remember is that it is for 11 hours there occurs increase in the size then it is the metabolically most active phase in this there occurs the cell duplication or the cell organelles jitne bhi hamare cell ke andar organelles hote hain they get duplicated after that we have the phase of the extensive transcription and translation that is in the given phase we have most extensive translation and transcription being covering then after this there occurs in this phase itself the s phase protein synthesis occurs in this particular phase and also very important mmc helicase synthesis occur and also ORIC synthesis occur you have to remember about each of these points because exam ke andar direct if area se questions put up hue hain that is which of the following is the most active or most metabolically active phase so which is the g1 phase and also questions have been framed from these two points as well so make sure you remember about these points in depth so now the second phase after the g1 phase is the s phase which is for the 8 hours after that in this there occurs the dna replication as it is same question has been put up that in the s, the s phase which are the following or what are the main work that occurs in the s phase so first thing is the dna replication after that there occurs histone synthesis 
then there occurs the mcm activation the synthesis occurred in the g1 phase but the activation occurs in the s phase so remember about this and the last point is about the centriole duplication starts in the s phase now we have the next stage as the g2 phase so which is for 4 hours there occurs centriole duplication gets completed the tubulin protein gets synthesized m phase protein synthesis occur and it is the phase of the final check when we would be discussing about the regulation of the cell cycle you will understand about the phase of final check because in that we would be discussing about the cyclins and the cdk role uske andar hame ye point samajh aayega but for the time being just remember about ki kaun se kaun si cheezo ka synthesis kaun se phase mein hota hai and the best way to do the same is make notes do not just watch these videos make notes from these videos they would be helpful for you after that we have the final phase that is the m phase which is for 1 hour and in this it is the phase for the karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis means the means the nuclear division and cytokinesis means the cytoplasmic division so this was about all the four phases their important parts and other things so we have the mitosis and the meiosis to be dealt in detail in the next lecture so in this lecture what we have discussed just try to make notes of the same and follow the subsequent lectures for more detail of this particular topic so i hope this video was helpful for you and if you like this video please do like share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up very soon with the more parts of this particular topic and all other informative videos as well so thank you so much everyone for watching and i'll see you soon bye